for coming back to my channel i'm stephanie if you're new here i do air fryer videos on friday or every other friday depending on when i can get them out for you guys but today we are going to be making three different appetizers in the air fryer we are going to start out with pickles in the air fryer or breaded pickles in the air fryer and then we are going to be making mozzarella sticks in the air fryer and pretzel bites in the air fryer so i'm going to start out with the pickle one I'll bring you guys close and you can see what I'm doing and I will show you how to get everything started and all the things that you need for this. Um, I'll go individually and show you each one as I go, but for right now, we're gonna get started with the pickles. I have most of my ingredients ready to go. I have my panko breadcrumbs. I have my flour here with dill and garlic powder salt and pepper and I will leave the recipe down below because I'm not going to give you like all the measurements right now but everything will be in the description of the video and if you can't find that I will try to help you in comments so this is buttermilk so now the next thing I kind of started already but I'm going to add things to this and give details on what you need to do next I'm going to move on to the buttercream I need to add an egg to that Okay, so I'm gonna mix that together. And then I'm gonna add it to my flour mixture. And I know a lot of times with other things you use the egg, then the flour and stuff like that, but um, you don't need to do that with this one. So we're just gonna mix this together. And then even if it gets really thick, that's okay. So I have that mixed together. Now what you're gonna wanna do is, I have my pickles right here. I'm gonna take a piece of paper towel and I'm just gonna dab them off just a little bit. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is dip my pickles in the flour egg mixture and then put them in breadcrumbs. Put them right on a plate over here. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do all these and then I'll come back. I have all the pickles with the flour and egg mixture and then the breadcrumbs. Now we're gonna be placing them in our air fryer. I did preheat the air fryer for a minute um, on 350. Just warm up your air fryer and just get it, you know, at least started just so it's warm. I'm gonna spray lightly with spray here. And then I'm going to put them in the air fryer. And when you flip halfway in between, then we will spray them again. But we're just gonna spray the one side for now. So now you're gonna wanna put these in the air fryer at 400 degrees for seven to 10 minutes and you're gonna flip them halfway in between. Okay, so the pickles are done. I flipped them in between and now I'm gonna plate them up. So with the pickles that I have, I'm going to be siding it with ranch. So I'm gonna give these a try. They're really good. We are going to start with the mozzarella sticks. I have my flour here, I have my panko and seasoning, and then I have my eggs right here. And this time I have the seasoning with my panko breadcrumbs. So that's how we're gonna have that. And then um, I have my cheese sticks here. For the recipe, you will need to freeze these first. So I put them in the freezer maybe like an hour ago 
and now I just need to open them all up for us to get started. Um, I wanted to show you what kind I was using before I did that. So I'm gonna go ahead and open all these up and I'll come back. I have all my cheese sticks unwrapped. I'm just gonna mix together my seasonings in there and then I'm gonna mix up the egg mixture. Okay, so we need to start with our flour and then our egg and our breadcrumbs. So you just put it in the flour and roll it in the flour and then put it in the egg and then roll it into the breadcrumbs. I'm gonna set that off to the side and I'll come back when I have them all done. All right, so I have all my cheese sticks covered with the breadcrumbs. I'm gonna place them in the air fryer. I'm not gonna clean it out from the other ones, but if you want to do that, you can do that. Okay, so now I'm going to spray this layer of the cheese sticks and then halfway in between the cooking time, I will spray it again. So we are going to be cooking these for at 390 and then we are going to cook them for eight minutes and flip them in between. Okay, so I pulled them, just pulled them out and they are overflowing everywhere. So you're gonna wanna cut your time back down to maybe like seven to six minutes and flipping in between because these are exploding everywhere. So I'm gonna plate these up quick and give them a try. Okay, so my mozzarella sticks are done. I did cook them a little bit longer than they needed to be. So it said eight minutes and then flip them halfway and then spray them and then cook them the rest of the time. So I would suggest to start out with six minutes flipping them halfway in between and just start out with that. And if they're not um, brown the way you want them, then cook them a little bit longer, better than cooking uh, too long. So, but otherwise they're okay, they turned out pretty good. So I'm gonna give one of these a try. If I can. They're really hot. What? Every time that I make something, all my kids like stare at me. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. These tasted pretty good, but like I said, just keep an eye on your timing. Um, and if you are starting these out, like after you already made something, you're gonna want to cook them less time than that because my air fryer is really hot for me doing the pickles. So that could be why the timing is a little off. But if you are just starting them out from, you know, not making anything ahead of time, you're gonna want to preheat first, just for a couple minutes, maybe like a minute or two, then put them in, try the six minutes and go from there. But my air fryer is really hot right now, so I'm thinking that's kind of why mine got to this point. But otherwise they turned out and they're pretty good. So my kids are waiting to try them. Okay, so now we're gonna be moving on to the pretzel bites. What you need to do is simmer some water or, or get it to a boil, then simmer it. Put some baking soda in there and that's what's gonna give you the flavoring to your pretzels. I have to say this is kind of funny. I did a Walmart pickup order and a lot of times on them orders, it doesn't, I don't look that close to see like what size they are. And I got some miniature biscuits. So. We're gonna see how many we can get out of here. I wanted to have the bigger ones, but we'll just use this for now. So is you need to cut these up in pieces, we are gonna put these in the water and then we're gonna boil them for two minutes and then we are going to uh, put garlic, 
butter on top of these and then we'll come back and I'll show you what you need to set your air fryer to. to do is boil the water with the baking soda in it and then only put the biscuits in and take them out right away you don't want to keep them in there too long otherwise they get really soft and mushy and you won't be able to pull them out so this is what they look like pulled out of the water right away I'm gonna I have my butter right here and then I have my um, garlic powder so I'm just gonna put that in there and like I said, I'll leave everything down in the description. Brush all of these with the garlic powder and butter. I'm gonna put these in the air fryer. going to want to set your air fryer to 400 degrees and cook them for 10 minutes and flip them in between but make sure you are watching them if you want to check them before the five minutes is up go ahead and do that just so you make sure that they're not browned and then um, you can reduce the time if you need to Alright, so when I put the salt on my pretzels, I didn't realize that that one was our mixed salt and pepper shaker. So, these have pepper on them, but otherwise you just need to put some coarse salt or if you have coarse salt, I know a lot of times we use the Himalayan salt, um, but these are going to be a little peppery. So. And for this, I sided it with some nacho cheese, if you guys want. Yeah, this is the kind of cheese that we use. It's from Walmart, and I think it comes in different spices. Gage, does it come in different spices? The natural cheese, or is it just this kind? Yeah. Okay, so if so, pay attention. If you don't like it spicy, then get a different one. But otherwise, um, this is what we're using for the pretzels today. I'm gonna give this a try. I warmed up my cheese a little bit too in the microwave. When we go to the movie theater, I always get either a pretzel or chips and cheese. And this tastes just like the movie theater pretzel are you guys waiting to try it mm, so good hopefully you guys liked today's video I don't know if you liked it that I did three in one if you guys don't like that leave me a comment down below and I will stick to just one video but I wanted to just do some quick appetizers for you guys today instead of just doing one video it's just too it would only have been like three to four minutes long for me to show you one individual so I figured I'll just show you all three right away so I have some other air fryer videos that are gonna be coming out that might be part two parts I don't know um, I know Valentine's is coming up so I'm gonna be having some stuff with that and then I had a request for some other things uh, to add to one of the videos. And I will be doing that soon. So I'm not sure if that's going to be next week Friday or the following Friday. But I do want to get the Valentine's one in there. And then the next one might be part or two parts. I got to think. I'm thinking so. But hopefully you guys liked today's video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.